y'all it's your girl sandra and today i'm back with another video the title i'm sure you know what we're going to be discussing so i thought i was going to do a get ready with me while i talk to you guys about this topic i'm actually getting ready to film some other videos i don't know if y'all following this drake and kendrick beef but i'm all into it but i do have a video i'm going to make um not so much about the lyrics or the music itself but what um, kendrick is actually saying about drake and his character and him as a person in general so if you see this video before you might see this one after i post the other one right but whichever one you see first make sure to double back on the other one you know um okay so like i said i'm going to get ready i've been learning new tips and tricks to do my makeup that's the beauty about makeup right it's always evolving always learning new tricks better ways to do it so that's what we're doing today while i talk to you about this topic on the kimora lee simmons daughter aoki simmons um if you guys are not familiar aoki simmons is a 21 year old young woman in my eyes she's a girl um you know even though 18 is the age of consent 16 is the age of consent 17 is the age of consent in different places but in my eyes having been a 21 year old girl i know 21 is still very young not only in the body but also in the mind so this young woman was pictured um with a 60 65 year old senior right a man three times her age uh, i'm going to insert the pictures for you guys to see and she was pictured at some beach fully kissing this man and i'm sure other things happened that were not you know filmed or photographed right so with this whole you know it kind of like went viral on social media and i was looking at it and i was like wow and my, my like more, more so you know the response because you know social media we always everyone has opinions about things hold on let me adjust the camera just a little bit hold on all right i think we're good right okay so yeah um so you know we live in the age of social media where everything is magnified and people who are celebrity or celebrity adjacent upcoming celebrities have been celebrities are more visible to the public eye and that's why i don't you know of course the tabloids have always been around but this time you know you can not only do we see it and just have a personal opinion about it offline but you know we also get to state of opinion in the public spaces where the celebrities can see what we're saying and thinking about them my opinion on the matter is i am absolutely disgusted and the response that was received from this young by, by this woman young lady young girl from the public so for those of you who may not know the characters i'm talking about let me just give you a brief brief bio right nothing too long so kimora lee simmons is a former model i'm saying former because i don't know if she still does model and she was married to russell simmons who is the founder of def jam which is a record label um he's a multi-millionaire allegedly <laughs> at least not for what the records are saying and um they have a daughter her name is aoki simmons right so again she was pictured on the beach with a perverted old man in my opinion okay i know you guys like deep dives but this channel is more so about my opinions if i ever make a deep dive of a video it's going to be purely objective right but this one is definitely mostly subjective the video that i'm making right so yeah she this young girl was pictured on the beach with this old man and um the response from social media was oh she's getting to the bag she's getting that money she's securing the bag but da, 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 which to me is like absolutely disgusting and there were also people where it was saying oh, calling her all kinds of names basically blaming her you know and it's just reminiscent of how you know when young girls are molested or um young girls are actually abused this is youtube you can't really say certain words explicitly without your channel being struck and i'm definitely trying to keep my channel around for as long as i can um yeah so it's just reminiscent of how people blame victims instead of perverted old people who prey on them as children i know she's of age i know you know a lot of people are like well she's of age she can make her own decisions she can consent yes but what does a 21 year old really know having been a 21 year old myself still you know learning the errors of my ways come on once you it, it is my firm firm belief that any old person who preys on younger people particularly um with a significant age difference have definitely probably most likely touch children who are underage i know people want to believe oh they're waiting until they're 18 right just like the drake situation that's going on right now right where it's being proven you know people are showing um you know drake 
um, has had a long history of inappropriate behaviors with 13 year old Millie Bobby Brown, which he never dropped in his song, Family Ma uh, is it Family Matter? No, The Heart Part Six, in his beef with Kendrick Lamar, right? And you know, more pictures are coming out, more um, videos of people saying, hey, I too have had this encounter, right? It looks like the Drake Me Too movement is upon us. And me personally, I've always said Drake was a groomer. That's my personal belief. I don't have anything to back that data up based on personal interaction or experience, but whether it's smoke, I, there is, whether it's that amount of smoke, there has to be a fire somewhere. So for me, I've, you know, Drake is definitely muted on my Spotify, along with a couple of artists, right? I don't, you know, profess to be someone who's holier than thou. I'm allowed to um, have my own personal opinions, and I don't force my opinions on other people. If people want to listen to Drake, if, let's say I'm in a car with someone and someone want to listen to Drake, that's their prerogative, right? And I'm not going to stop you, but I know me personal, my personal convictions are important to me, and they matter to me but I don't try to force that on other people. But, but however, comma, at the end of the day, we are all responsible of the as a collective for what happens to us as a group as it pertains to different things, including, you know, child abuse, actual abuse, and a lot of times um, these abused people grow up to be abusers themselves. So it is my extremely strong belief and opinion that any man or woman, because society tends to take uh, issues more when it comes to women um, being abused as young kids versus you know young boys being abused, but it definitely happens. Um, if you know a story, a little bit of a story about Lil Wayne, he did an interview basically talking about how you know the people he's associated with, I'm not gonna call any particular name, I'm sure you can YouTube it, Google it, you'll find out that he basically said, someone, he was forced to be abused in a studio where, you know, someone performed actual acts on him as a minor, but the way it would seem like, he's like, oh yeah, you know, I'm definitely, I'm the man, Make you, but boy, as you grow up, you become to realize, wait, that was wildly inappropriate. Why is a 40, almost 40 year old woman performing, you know, these kind of acts on a 17 year old or 16 year old? Why is a, almost 40 year old 30 plus year old drake on a yacht with a millie bobby brown and where are her parents and i think it is sad that aoki got the backlash of you know this is embarrassing and i think there was a video of her going around where she was basically telling her dad that if he didn't raise her allowance she would absolutely um start finding a sugar daddy and people were saying why well, she did want her dad um that is besides the point, but I'm not surprised, although I'm not surprised that she would do something like that because the history with her mother and father are similar. Um, Russell Simmons, who is the founder of Def Jam, is currently, you know, facing charges for those same type of allegations of, you know, sexual misconduct, sexual assault type thing, and he took off to Bali, Indonesia, where he's resided for a while, tried to clean up his bank account, where, you know, if victims try, a lot of the times people are not able to get um, criminal justice, but they are able to get, you know, fight social, financial justice, you know, the, the public outcry helps a lot, and, you know, they're able to get some kind of compensation. So that's what he tried to do, you know, trying to clean up his bank account to um, avoid having to pay for, um, you know, trying to avoid being financially responsible for people who try to sue because again, this is America. I know a lot of people have issues when people take the, that type of route of trying to get financial compensation, i.e. Cassie with the whole Diddy thing, saying, oh, if she was really um, harmed, why would she, you know, only seek monetary gain and set up blah, 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 blah. Like these things happen. Sometimes it's hard to get justice and sometimes you don't want to go back and forth in a legal battle like that. It's one, expensive. And two, you have to relive. I don't think people realize a lot of victims have to relive what happened to them in front of the public and the humiliation, the pressure, it does kind of re-victimize you. So a lot of people don't want to do that. They just want to. And a lot of times these people, the abusers, they settle quietly, which I believe is one thing that Kendrick did bring up about Drake saying that, you know, have you ever paid like a hundred thousand for an open case? Um, when you first hear the lyrics, it, you think it's about Kendrick himself, but in reality, it's about Drake who quietly settled a sexual assault lawsuit, which is now coming out. People are finding the paperwork on that. So my point is like, 
I under, even though people try to be, I'm not the most, I'm not Mrs. Morale, let me just put it like that, right? But I do have my own convictions that I stick to. I do try to, you know, practice what I preach, not just on social media, because that's what I want my platform to be mainly about, is to have meaningful conversations that actually have an impact. It takes each and every one of us to change our behaviors, change our belief system, change our practices to make an actual impact, right? But so when you have uh, a young woman like this who is young, impressionable, in the public eye, you know, dealing with things like this, and then you have grown people, and that's another thing about social media, I always try to keep in mind there are people from all kinds of, all walks of life, right? They've had different experiences. My belief may not necessarily be their beliefs. Um, their experiences in education dictate their belief system so that's why one of the main reasons why i don't argue with people on social media just because i know it's a waste of time it's a waste of time because like the mindset of this person could be so far from my own that we're never going to see eye to eye and i don't try to see eye to eye with people so yeah and also i did see um another thing that i'm disgusted by i saw an interview that this young woman's mom did kimora lee simmons when she ran into tmz at the airport and they were asking her you know have you seen what's going on with your daughter and um and how do you feel about it what are your thoughts or opinions and what she was saying was basically she basically checked it out too in my opinion you can watch the interview for yourself just google Kimora Lee Simmons CMZ and you know her daughter's name and I'm sure it'll pop up and her thought was you know basically she's kissing the toads because you know the idea there's this idea in america you have to kiss a few toads before you get to your prince and you know and she's basically saying you know that you know it's unfortunate that what for i surmise from what i translated based on what she was saying that it was basically unfortunate that people saw it right unfortunately for her i understand that she may want to protect her daughter she don't want to put her on blast doesn't want to go full on out you know saying certain things that may make her feel even worse about her bad decisions at such a young age but the response i'm not surprised by but i was also disgusted by and if you know the history of these people kimora lee simmons she herself had said that um she basically entered a relationship with russell simmons because her parents kind of coerced her at a young age she was only 17 i think he was in his mid 30s you know so I'm really trying not okay I'm, i was gonna say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree but i don't want to say something like that because i feel like that is victim blaming but i'm saying like based on that mindset my expectation would be that someone like a kimura would actually know hey i went through this and i don't want this for my daughter but you know when people are victims they, they either one learn from it and stay far away from that or two they perpetrate that exact behavior so me i was expecting her you know especially now that she's come out and said that basically she entered in a relationship with a grown man when she was an underage young woman and um i would thought she would extreme be extremely disgusted by it. she did say you know the guy this is pretty much done between her daughter and whoever but i don't think she expressed the seriousness that i was looking for and again who am i she don't even know me from a can of paint right but when you have people a woman who has been a victim herself and you know doesn't even think that her daughter is a victim i'm not surprised because again why would she why would she when she herself is in the same boat and a lot of times when we experience trauma we um we are bound to repeat it right we stop growing and so a lot of us kind of sit there and uh, we might grow physically but <sighs> mentally we're still in that place that we were when we experienced that trauma unless we make the conscious effort to go away from it so like i said although i'm surprised that kimura um didn't take a firmer stance that you know this is wrong ba 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 yada 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 i am um, I'm really not that surprised that I'm disgusted, but I'm not surprised is what I'm trying to say. You know, just like when you have uh, Cassie, for example, and people are like, oh, Cassie is of age. Why did she wait so long? Why didn't she say something before? She's only looking for a payday. Again, this is America, right? And especially when you have a power dynamic, this the guy, is his supposed, this supposed restaurateur, he has a 
restaurant in New York called Seraf Serafina and he's been married. He has a child who is the exact same age as this young girl. And the fact that I saw a lot of people placing blame on her and not him, not hold him accountable as a grown adult preying on a young girl, it just, it disgusts me. And when you have like a Cassie who is was of age but you heard of the power dynamic of I can't call my parents to tell them what's going on I can't be held literally hostage because I can't just take off and go start a new life unless you know and I'm being told that if I XYZ not only am I being physically abused and emotionally abused I'm being financially abused and I commend Cassie for being able to get out of that situation and it kind of like sucks to have to deal with the people who don't believe people when things like this happen because more often than not by a huge gap people don't report this a lot of women who experience this type of abuse they don't report it they you know societal pressure to feel like you need to protect people and you know people not believing you people making this stigma a character trait for you or you know it's just there's a lot that comes with being abuse in that manner and the way that the, this current society handles it is not necessarily helpful it's not necessarily proactive and when you have people who are so dedicated to their faves people who are dedicated to people they've never met in their life they've never interacted in their life they have a perception of certain people that they are swearing by it just it just really does not help the situation and it only makes it worse for the victims to come out even when the victims do come out the backlash the hate the you know anger the need to defend people who don't care they know they have the money they have the public on their side but fortunately most of the time not most of the time a lot of the times things actually work for the better because in America although the justice system has a lot of flaws there is still some kind of justice perceived justice that can happen see my thoughts on situations like this is you if you are again that old and you don't see any issue with um, preying on a young child who does not have the mental capacity or the mental bandwidth to even have a proper communication with you is it's not even about their you wanting a relationship with someone younger it's you're looking for you know the most explicit form of that relationship and that's the only part you care about you don't care about the conversation so if you don't care about the conversation you there's no need to have a good conversation there's no need to be able to have an exchange of ideas there's no need for us to be able to um, you know discuss what's happening on the same level what's going around is the is that since it's only based on having purely having some kind of actual gratification from whatever escapade you're trying to have to prove something to yourself what stops you from touching little kids i'm just gonna say it plainly what stops you from having inappropriate relationship from, with little kids right and some people are like well at least they're waiting until they're 18. if you're waiting until they're 18 there's a problem okay because that means deep down you know you shouldn't be waiting my um engaging with these people right but because you don't want to face the legal consequences of it you're going to wait until quote unquote wait until they're 18. and who says that they're really waiting until they're 18 right just like the whole drake situation right this man is supposed to be way um hanging out with these 15 14 16 17 year olds and then he's only engaging with them once they turn 18. do you guys really believe that do you guys truly believe that situation because there is no way that a man who is willing to quote unquote wait for a young girl to turn 18 to prey on her sexually is not going to act on it if he gets the chance so you're trying to groom them young and that's the other thing with dealing with young people with mindsets two things one they're so impressionable they don't even know what to say and what not to say in the media that's why a lot of the bobby brown Millie bobby brown situation you can see that she is still a young extremely young person in her uh, in her mind with the things that she posts right so she's going to incriminate him 
without even wanting to but the problem is when you get them that young they usually do not want to incriminate their abusers because even some of the people that are coming forward about Drake saying even Drake's father you know saying hey I remember he invited us to some kind of party we thought Drake was going to be there and we turned out that Drake was not coming to the party and there were a bunch of creeps old, old creepy men there and you know I managed to get away safely but you know I'm not a victim you are a victim you are maybe not you know I don't know if there is certain, such a thing as being more of a victim. Maybe what happened was not as bad as some of the other people, but indeed, you were forced, coerced, and lied to be in to a situation that you would not have otherwise agreed to by some creepy old men who thought it was okay to prey on young women using the likeness of Drake, talking about his father now, using the likeness of his celebrity son, right, to convince you and your friends to show up to a party knowing that he was not meaning drake was not going to be there he was not going to um be in participation and even if he was it was not going to be something that it would be a, a, an unsafe situation for you and your friends and i don't think people realize that that's how a lot of women they do get trafficked you know you think you're going to a party and you think you even you know with people they've known for years especially women you know who have other women friends who tolerate things like this that's why i have a strong dislike for i don't know if you guys are following this situation with ernesta williams and shirley strawberry that's why i have a strong dislike for the 10 pound pen pal to shirley strawberry's husband's mystery um to shirley strawberry's husband Sonia Darmwale, she's such a victim blamer. She's on this man's side no matter what she hears, no matter what the evidence presents. She automatically um, victim blames and victim shames. She will find an excuse for a man that she's only known for five minutes despite what everything else is proving. So I don't take it lightly when I hear people defending people like this. It's like, okay, everybody's entitled to their opinion, but some opinions are dangerous. Just like I don't take it lightly when people have racist opinions. Just like I don't take it like when people think it's okay to make fun of certain people just because they're part of specific groups i'm anti that type of behavior and i would never promote it on my channel and i don't think anyone else should either but again i'm not speaking for everybody else i can only be responsible for me as a person and what i do and who i am and how i conduct myself not only in the videos that i make but also in the message that i present and in how i behave on a daily basis so like i said that's what i wanted to talk to you about i'm actually getting ready to make a couple videos actually i've been wanting to make a couple videos you know i've been wanting to make a few videos i have like literally a list of videos to make on as notes on my um notes <laughs> on my notes app but it's just the age-old story i tell you every time i come here i just have so much going on and i'm not always able to get to it so that's why i haven't po you know i have been posting and but i have wanted to post more and i also have been wanting to go live more so you know it's just i have a lot going on but you know i'm still trying to bring you content again i'm filming the, i'm trying to get this look together while wow, this is really pigmented uh yeah so i have to tone it down probably add a little bit of foundation over it just to tone it down a bit but yeah um so again i don't profess to be a perfect person i don't profess to know it all i don't profess to be the best person in the world i have my i have my flaws but i can definitely some flaws are worse than others <laughs> uh, you know when it comes to certain situations like this when you have grown men who look at young children that reminds me let me tell you a story um when i was 12 no when i was maybe 14 about 14 years old right um i remember we had our house phone for a long time even after um a lot of people didn't have house phones we still had a house phone for a very long time right i, I remember i was 14 and this guy about 14 this someone called the house and i picked up and they have a wrong number right and it's like and you know they were they heard my voice they were like oh well let me sincere when the phone let's have a conversation i'm like um about what i don't know you you have you know you just have a wrong number and you sound like an old man and this man told me he was in his 50s this old man told me yeah he's in his 50s and he's and i'm like sir i'm 14 years old he's like so what that's that doesn't mean anything you still you know 
And you want me to believe that these perverted men are, are waiting for these girls to turn 18? Huh? They're not waiting. They're not waiting for them to turn 18. A lot of them are not. And the fact that there are people still defending this kind of behavior. I even saw some creepy person talking about, well, as long as he's, you know, who wants to be with an old person? Old people anyway. When you ask, there should be some kind of line to report people who post creepy things like this <laughs> on social media what do you mean who wants to be with old people anyway are you co-signing this person engaging and being actually inappropriate with young children whom they're not related to why are you on a boat in the middle of the night with a 13 14 year old that you're not related to you're not their stepfather you're not an uncle you're why? And then it brings me to um, this girl's parents because I believe she got married at 18. Where are your parents? Where are our parents? A lot of parents, especially when it comes to the Hollywood space in America, a lot of parents, they really do sell their own children. We know, you know, there are parents who are actively, you know, on, on using substances, right? And when they need a hit, we've heard of that. They're like, oh, just let him touch you for a little bit. Have y'all seen that movie? I think it's called Holly Holiday Heart. I don't remember the exact movie. But I know, you know, that lady Wanda was telling her young teenage daughter to let some creepy old man touch on her just a little bit because she was trying to get a hit. She couldn't pay for it. So essentially, she was trying to sell her daughter's body to some creepy old man. And we hear things like this. And in Hollywood, people seem to be extremely lax in the monitoring and guiding of their young children and people are like well drake was um he was a child actor maybe he's giving her advice you don't need to be giving her that kind of advice that you're taking her on a boat she's texting you know telling posting online that she liked so you have a 14 year old telling you that he loves you telling people that you're her man going to her movie premiere with her as a plus one and people reporting that you guys spent the entire night together and you have taking shutting down restaurants on the day that these young women are turning 18. so i have a theory that drake was trying is trying to be the person who um hit all these young women very young so that she can he could brag about it when they you know are older women and um when they're older women and are married so you could say oh please i had your wife when she turned 18. I, you know collecting them like trophy like serial killers do, do. And I feel like that was, they would, he was literally using these women and taking advantage of them so that he could say, I've had all of y'all, you know what I mean? And it's very evident that he does not even like women. He doesn't because there's no way he can like women and go on the antics that you're going about them. A lot of the times people don't think that, you know, he's being misogynistic, but it's very evident saying you like your girl with a BBW. You like your girl's BBW, but you're not married to anyone. You're almost 40. Not that you have to get married anyway, because not everyone wants to get married, right? And that's okay, that's perfectly fine. But the way that you're going through women, not even women, right? You have money, you're successful, you want to go through women, okay, whatever. But when it starts to become like, when you start hanging out with 16 year old Kylie Jenner and you know, holding her inappropriately and kissing her, if you're doing things like that publicly, what are you doing behind the scenes? You know, there are rumors now, you know, all of this stuff is coming out that he goes to the um, high school, he sends people to the high school, basically recruit for him like R. Kelly used to do. And a lot of people are calling him the R. Kelly Toronto. You guys don't find that weird? Even people in high school are saying, you know, he has all the high school girls in high schools in America and in high schools in Canada are saying, yeah, he used to take all the girls and pay my shoe. The girls, you know, the guys that are at the same age as those girls really couldn't do anything, couldn't get any girls because of him. And in his, in his mind, that's he's doing the right thing. He's, you know, winning. Like the fact that you don't think you're competing, you're competing with 14, 15, 16 year old boys and taking their um, girls allegedly and hanging out at Dave and Buster by yourself as a world known superstar. Why, why, you know, a place where kids come and hang out at the arcade, you don't find that weird? You don't find that suspicious? Why, 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 why? And why are y'all still defending this man? And why are y'all 
victim blaming because technically in my mind the young girl Aoki Simmons is a victim because she's too young and she's gonna have to live to see this and I feel like one thing that's gonna happen with this really rather brown girl who was allegedly groomed by the person she ended up marrying um is that she's going to maybe I don't know because it doesn't always happen wake up um get old enough to where she has to look back at this and be like wow I can't believe this and unfortunately for her everything she's lived was in the public eye all of these it actually comes back to haunt her and she's going to always be victimized and you know people call her fast and a lot of people place the blame on young these young girls in a lot of places a lot of times not consider no as the adult you have the responsibility to say no i remember i went to the mall <laughs> I did a video where I was returning my birthday gifts at the mall. I had some heels on. I saw, I was like, you know what? I've been walking for a while. Let me just sit down. I was sitting down and this young boy came to me. And he was like super tall. Must be like 6'5 or something. Super tall. And he's trying to talk to me. And I'm like, you look very young. How old are you exactly? You know? And he's like, oh, I'm, oh, it's okay. I'm 18 though. No, it's not. It's not okay. Okay? And I told him, you shouldn't, first of all, I know you don't know my age, but I'm much older than you. And you shouldn't be going around telling people it's okay just because you're 18. Right? Don't try to get engaged with older women just because you think you're 18. He was like, well, I appreciate that. Yeah. As the adult, you have the responsibility to let these young kids know this isn't appropriate. You go ahead and have date people your age and make your young people mistakes for you guys to learn from together. Not someone who is so much so much older than you who has the ment mental capacity to run laps around you and use and abuse you but anyway yeah uh, i'm almost done with this look what do you guys think of this look i'm going to put on my lashes and we're going to get into this video i hope you guys like it and i hope you guys do stay tuned for the other videos i have post other videos posted so go ahead and check it out and let me finish my lashes and we'll move on from there all right y'all so this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed putting together this look with me. Tell me what you think. Did I eat or no? Let me turn off the light. Wait, not this light. Okay, I'm gonna leave this light on. Let me try and turn this light off. Let's see. So this is the look in low light. And this is with this light on. Anyway, y'all get the idea. Do you enjoy it? Did you enjoy this look? So I'm about to, like I said, I'm about to make this video for y'all. I hope y'all come back and watch it, okay? Okay. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys come and watch it. Um, I'm going to make two videos today. One is going to be about Drake. The other one is going to be about Tyler, you know, the South African singer. And identifying as colored and not black. All that good stuff. So I hope to see you there. Again, I hope you enjoyed this look as much as I enjoyed putting it together. And I'm going to see y'all. I'm gonna see y'all later. I did a video on this wig. It's in my store, sswmerch.com. And yeah, so I'm gonna catch y'all later. Be sure to thumbs up the video. Also, I wanna know who y'all think, who do you guys think won this battle and why? So, um, also, what else? Who y'all think won for real, for real? And what do you guys think of the whole beef? Um, would y'all want a video on me dissecting the lyrics? Because the video I'm about to make is specifically the, on the character of Drake himself, not necessarily the music. But yeah, if y'all want me to do that, let me know. Be sure to thumbs up the video because it really helps with the algorithm. And again, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Bye. Mm-hmm.